Hello everyone. Right now, we are, I'm going to um, explain how we can do dimensional analysis very easily. Now, this topic has been the uh, uh, the struggle for a lot of students, and for who for those who cannot master this skill, usually find it very difficult to uh, to succeed in chemistry course. So, this tutorial is going to teach you and explain to you how we can do dimensional analysis very, very, very easily. So, let's look at this question. Convert 5 inches to centimeters. So, wh whenever we are given a question like this, we are going to start off with what is given. So, 5 inches, and remember you keep all the significant figures. And then, now, you know that we are going to multiply some by some fraction. Okay, it's a ratio. It's a ratio. But how do we know what we what do we put in here? Well, let's look at here. We're going to change from convert from inches to centimeters. So first, what we need to know is that what is the relationship? Okay, what is the relationship between inches and centimeters? So, if you go online or from a textbook, you should find out that one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. Okay? And then, well, there are two possible conversion factor that we can make based on this relationship. It is either one inch over 2.54 centimeters or 2.54 centimeters over one inch. Now before we determine which one to put in here, let's look at what is this. What, is, what are these two conversion factors? So the reason why we can make this, these two conversion factors is based on the fact that they are both equal to one. How is that one? Well, look. Let's look back to the relationship. One inch is equal to the two is equal to 2.54 centimeters. So they are equal to each other. This is what the equal sign tells us. And when we put them into a fraction, one inch over 2.54 centimeters or 2.54 centimeters over one inch. Well, either way, what you find out is that well, one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. So although they look very differently, the numerator is equal to the denominator. And based on your math classes uh, that you that you have taken in middle school, well you should know that if the um, numerator is the same as the denominator, they can cancel out and the overall va value is 1. So these two conversion factors, they are both equal to 1. Now, how is that important? Well, let's look, look back to this calculation. When we do math, we cannot just do something out of nowhere. We can only do something that is based on those mathematical rules. And here, what we are actually multiplying is something which is equal to 1. And as you know, that anything multiplied by 1 is equal to itself, the number, the original number itself. So we are not actually changing anything, we are just converting the appearance of this number. Okay, so now, and let's go ahead to determine which one you put in here. Well, for those who have serious difficulty in determining this, let me give you another example. And I'm going to show it in parallel. So there are two calculations. And I'm going to put these two conversion factors to each one of these calculations. So let me put this one here. And put this one here. Again, putting either one to this calculation, they are both legitimate because this is 
the value is one we are not changing we are not creating we are not destroying so let's go ahead and look at these two calculations let's look at this one first what we have is 5 inch times this conversion factor and let's multiply them together well when I look at this I don't really have anything to cancel out because we have I have inch here and I have inch here well they are on the same side on the same level which is the numerator and we cannot cancel them out so when we calculate this five times two point five four is equal to 12.7 oh no hold on step back 5 times 5 divided by 2.54 is 1.968 okay now here let's not uh, worry about the significant figures yet because we I want to focus on the dimension analysis so you got this number now this is not the end because this is just 5 divided by 2.54 and you have to take care of the units at the same time. So inches times inches, it is inches squared. And in a denominator, it is centimeters. OK, so this is my first calculation. And for the second one, it is 5 times 2.54. It is equal to 12.7. OK, let me zoom in a little bit, 12.7. And uh, and you look at, when you look at the unit, the inches, they can cancel out because one in the numerator, the other one in the denominator, so they divide out, so they are equal to, um, so they, you can cancel out. And what is the remaining unit? Centimeters, right here. Now, although they look very differently, I want you to see that these two things, they are actually equal to each other because what we are doing here is just multiplying by one. So we are not, again, changing the value. We are just changing the appearance. And then you ask, well, which one would you choose? You would choose this one, right? Because this is something that it makes sense to you, 12.7 centimeters, and this is what it is asking here. And what's most important thing, the most important thing is, well, this is, what, what is what's this unit? you never seen in the in the past. So it makes no sense to you, and this tells you that it is not the correct answer because the unit doesn't is not something that you would like to work with so so this would stress the point that you would really have to work with the units because a lot of students would not like to write down the units in when they're doing the math but without the unit you just have no way to check if you are correct or not so please write down your units because it is going to guarantee you to get the correct answer. It's going to help you. Okay? Teachers are not going to ask you to do something that is stupid. It is helping you to get the correct answer, helping you to see what's going on. So I hope this tutorial can help you out to, to understand what is going on in dimension analysis.